Hello, I'm Dr Chitty and I'm reading Tuesday's Children's Week of Prayer reading, Sleepy Head. Katrina Foster, do you know what time it is? Go to bed now, demanded mother. I'll go soon, but I just have to finish my project. Don't worry, I'll be fine, Katrina reassured mother. Oh my dear, I'm worried about you. You're destroying your health, mother said anxiously. I'm okay, Katrina said. Can't you start your project earlier? You have the whole afternoon to do it, but you spend too much time on Instagram and texting your friends, mother said impatiently. I'm fine, mum. Mothers worry for nothing, snorted Katrina. Weeks passed and Katrina was caught falling asleep in several classes time after time. She fell asleep four times in one week. Her teacher, Mrs. Bouchette, was concerned. Mrs. Foster, you really need to monitor Katrina's sleep hours, Miss Bouchette told Katrina's mother. She fell asleep four times this week. She was grouchy and snapped at her classmates often. Okay, I'll try to work with Katrina on this, mother reassured the teacher. Katrina, I'm greatly disappointed with your teacher's report about you, exclaimed mother sadly. Do you know what that your body is the temple of God? If you destroy it by sleeping only three or four hours a night, you'll lose energy and power to think, said mother. I'm sorry, mum. I'll try to get to sleep earlier. Please pray for me, begged Katrina. Yes, we need to ask Jesus to help you plan your day properly. You can finish your homework, still have time for your friends. I'm taking away your cell phone every night before bedtime, said mother adamantly. You can't do that, demanded Katrina. I guess I have no choice, right? You're absolutely right, replied mother with a smile. Memory gem. You should know that you yourselves are God's temple. God's spirit lives in you. If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him because God's temple is holy. You yourselves are God's temple. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Some questions for you. Why did Paul say that our bodies are the temple of God? Why is a lack of sleep not good for us? And why is God interested in the health of his children? Here are some suggestions to live it out. Number one. Make a daily schedule for your activities after school. Number two, with the help of your parents, make a week plan for a healthy, nutritious meal.